A Super Bowl week is usually a celebration to another successful season for the biggest professional sports league in America. But amid the celebrity sightings and lavish parties is the underlying story of a potential lockout by the NFL owners in the coming weeks. If it happens, both the league and the NFL Players Association say the big loss will be felt by the fans. Before we go back to Texas, here's what union head DeMar Smith had to say today about the labor strife, including the potential of an 18-game schedule. I tend to focus and remain um, somewhat optimistic because I know that our fans love it and I know that they dig it as much as I do. Um, I don't tend to focus too much on tension. Uh, it seems to me that where we need to be, man, we need to get back to our love of the game. Our love of the game. That's it. Um, any change in the season that increases the risk of injury, increases the risk of concussion, increases the risk of a long-term consequence from playing football, has the potential to shorten uh, uh, careers uh, and jeopardize the 3.4 average that players have right now without a guaranteed contract. Anything that does that uh, is something that's not in the interest or in the best interest of the players of the National Football League. Sports Center's continuing coverage of Super Bowl 45. I'm Mike Greenberg in Fort Worth. NFL insider Chris Mortensen joins us now. Mort, we heard what DeMora Smith said there. What did he say to you on Wednesday? Yeah, on the point of the 18-game schedule, he was almost emphatic that this collective bargaining agreement, whenever it's reached, will not have an 18-game schedule. And I actually uh, asked D, I said, wait a minute, you've already made a counter proposal that includes an 18-game se season. And he said, he talked about the players' safety issues and repetitive uh, contact and things like that. But he was pretty emphatic when I spoke with him about not having an 18-game season in this CBA. Is that posturing? We'll find out when it's all over with. I've always thought the foundation of this agreement would be the 18-game schedule with a lot of different tweaks to it. But listen, they're meeting Saturday. They're going to start a negotiating session. They're not supposed to talk about 18 games on Saturday. They're supposed to meet pretty much for the 30 days leading up to March 4th. And if necessary, and they've made progress, they could even extend this deadline to April 4th. But they've got to be making progress, and the 18-game schedule is certainly something the owners are going to press for.